means we see the simple setup for 2D uh, dipole measure. This dipole stays in place, um, it's A and B electrodes, it's one, they will meet one meter apart. The wire you will be unfolding from this measuring dipole and the marks on the wire is one meter apart. So now we get our first setup, one meter, one meter apart and one meter apart. Connect land mapper, red wires, and this is dipole wire, and then turn it on, and we take the measurements right there, um, and we store it. Then, now um, we took another measurement, we unwind and make sure that we have wires, the first electrode is at the black mark with the wire. Round them again, take another measure. Store this measure. Undrop the wire again. And take measurements again. The, the farther you are from the dipole, the bigger is your coefficient. But since we're still taking it on K1 equal 25, this is actually supposed to be taken on multiplying by 10. So the value is 370. But in the Excel spreadsheet, the program will recalculate all this for you. So just uh, focus on taking measurements on the set coefficients k3 we will set it for 100 usually you will be able to take all 10 measurements unwinding up until here but there is a space limit and also there might be a limit uh, in your soil when the signal will be very low in this case you just cannot go that deep uh, like for all 10 meters you'll just stop it say six or seven measurements and in any case you will be taking five six measurements roughly to maybe to the depth of five six in the perfect world maybe up to nine meters with this and that's it see you next time